Hey guys, this is how I get uh, Star Wars KOTOR 2 to work on Windows 7 or Vista, uh, right here. Basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to come to this link right here, and you're going to download this mss32.dll. Uh, I'll show you right now. So you can save it. And that just popped up for download. Okay, there we go. Um, open it. Not open the file, but the containing folder. Or you can just go to start and. Sorry, I haven't met my house with the bird again. Or you can just go to your downloads folder. And you'll have it right here. So basically, what you're going to do now, I'll put a uh, download link in the description. Basically, what you're going to do now is you're going to go to. Um, actually, you're going to go to wherever your KOTOR 2 directory is. For you guys, it's probably located under the start, my computer. Drive C or whatever drive it is. Um, program files. I think it would be under 86, I believe. I'm not sure because I don't have it installed under my program files. But for you guys, if you're using Vista or 7, I believe it would be under the 80. Actually, if you have 64 bit, um, it'd be under 86. If you have a normal 32 bit, it'd be under program files. The way to find that out is right clicking on computer and going to properties. And we'll see right here in a second. As I have six gigs of RAM, and it says right below that, 64 bit operating system. So, what is this? No. Um. So for you guys, you'd go under if you have 64 bit, you go under program files and parentheses times 86 for 32 bit. If you don't, you're just gonna go to program files. You won't have this other option right here. So you're just going to go there and then it'll say Lucas Arts and you'll click open up actually see it says it right here there we go and it should say SW KOTOR 2 you would open that and put it in there but um, mine's just written on the desktop right here so you're just going to open up that folder once you go to there and right here as you see I have the MSS32.dll you're going to take it and um, I wouldn't copy, I wouldn't right click and copy and paste it. I would uh, make sure that you do this too. Uh, make a new folder on your desktop and name it backup uh, kotor2.dll. And what you're going to do now is go to your kotor2 folder, right click on yours and your actual gaming folder, copy it, open up the folder that you just made and paste it in here because this is your backup basically that's why you need to backup so now what you're going to do is you're going to take the one from your downloads folder and you're going to take it and drag it right into here I already did it so I'm not going to do it well I'll just do it to show you so you're going to take it and drag it into there sorry my mouse is dying on me that's why it's hard to click and you're going to click on move and replace don't do move but keep both files and obviously not don't move just do move and replace don't copy it just drag and drop it and um, once you do that, it'll be in here. And you're going to right click on your KOTOR 2 right here. Go to properties. This just basically helps it run better. And if you click on compatibility, you're going to click on, you're going to check this box right here. Run this program in compatibility for, um, you can do XP Service Pack 2 or XP Service Pack 3. I do Windows XP Service Pack 2 because when I do Windows XP Service Pack 3, right there it doesn't work for me so I do too and it works perfectly fine for me and um, you can run it as an administrator whatever you want <coughs> I don't have it run as an administrator just so it won't uh, actually it automatically automatically ask me because when you install it I had to do that so that's basically how you do it guys um, so yeah comment rate and subscribe wolf song folder so that's basically all you have to do is just put that right in here and then go to that and run it, put it in um, XP compatibility mode. You can do Service Pack 3, it just depends on like, you know, what kind of computer you got. Mine doesn't work with Service Pack 3, like I said, I just use Service Pack 2. So just do that and uh, hopefully it'll work for you guys. If not, um, please let me know and I can make a tutorial on how to install it, um, on how to like install it like with a fresh install of your game just make sure you back up your folder if you have any 
saves for those of you that does work but it always constantly crashes um i can make that stop for you so uh just let me know comment rate subscribe